here to discuss about determining the focal length of convex lens. We can observe in the diagram that there are object, convex lens, screen and a scale to measure the lens. So we start the experiment. First adjust the mesh, le mesh lens and screen such that the object and the image are equal in size. You can observe that the image is inverted in the screen, on the screen. You can observe a clear and same sized image on the screen. Note the lens between them. First we should, we should measure the distance between object and the lens. Then distance between lens and the screen. Lens and screen is V. No. Now we change the distances between them. We should do this same for 5 to 6 times and you, know, you take the average of this, you can obtain the focal length of this convex lens. Friends, now we are here to uh, explain about how to determine the focal length of convex lens. Here is a diagram. This is object. This is convex lens. This is screen. You can observe the inverted image. And this is optical bench. Now we will enter into the practical. Nil. We took candle as object here and this is illuminated mesh and this is convex lens and this is screen. Now we will adjust the convex lens such that the both image and object are at same size. Here we got the clear image. Now we will measure the distance between object and lens. Here it is 43 centimeters. And this is also 43 centimeters. The distance between the object and lens is U. And the distance between lens and image is V. We will substitute the values here. And the formula to find the focal length is 1 by F is equals to 1 by V minus 1 by U. 1 by u value is 1 by 43, 1 by v value is 1 by 43 and after substituting the values, we will get the value of f. We should do this same experiment 5 to 6 times. So the average will be your focal length. Here we got the values are equal. 
so the object and the object is unseen so the image is also unseen so here we got the same value you know that in lens in con in concave convex lens u value is minus This is one by u value, and this is v value. Now substituting the values in this formula, we will get the value of f. By taking average of all values, we could get the correct approximate. We could get the correct focal length of lens. We took five to six times because to minimize the experimental errors. Thank you. Next lens is converging. Now we practically prove that by using talcum powder. You see here the rays are converging to the center. Start converging. Now we practically prove with a laser and talcum powder. So you can see that the rays are bending, and they meet at a point. <laughs> Now we can see that the rays are bending, and all these rays, rays meet at a point. so we can say that convex lens is converging